Hey everybody, welcome back to the Fox Fitness. I'm right here at Training Camp in Nashville, Tennessee. And a lot of you have been asking me what do I do just to stay fit or with some of the things that I do to help me prepare for a fight. So what I'm gonna do today in this vlog, I'm gonna take you through a number of exercises that I do, warm up, stretching, cause I'm trying to gain my flexibility back. And uh, we also do some upper body, lower body, and a few core exercises as well, all right? So I hope y'all like the video. If you do, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, um, Give it a thumbs up, share it, tell your friends, tell your family. I got a lot more material coming your way in the future. Let's get to work. As with all my workouts, I always begin with a nice warm up. On this particular workout, I chose to use the uh, the jump rope. Main, I usually always jump rope, whether it's for a warm up or just some type of cardio or exercise during my routine. Of course, it helps give the body a tone. It's, it's a full body toner. Um, it's good for cardio, good for burning calories. You cannot go wrong with the jump rope. But today I started out using the jump rope as a warm up. <clears throat> and I always switch it up. Like sometimes I may be on a treadmill for the warm up. I may go out for a little bit of a jog, run a few sprints. I might hop on a uh, stationary bicycle, whatever the case may be. And I'm not doing anything fancy right. Well, never mind. I take that back. I am doing something fancy. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the beautiful thing about jumping rope. When you do it all the time, you just naturally begin figuring out tricks. <laughs> right here with no weight, I'm just getting warmed up on the bench press. I kind of, I, well, yeah, most of the time I always begin my bench press like this. I just hop on them with no weight. Just throw it up and down a few times. I'm just trying to get my shoulders warmed up. A little bit of form check, whatever the case may be. Get the blood going. Then I throw a little bit of weight on there. Uh, right now, I'm keeping it simple. I believe I'm going down the tempo of one second down, one second up. I think I'm going to switch up the tempo here soon, if I remember correctly. Yep, there we go. And right here, I'm just taking my time down by three or four seconds down. Try to explode back up. A very good way to build um, explosive, explosiveness. Excuse me. Increase punching power. Keeping it light with high reps. Right here, I'm taking it to the uh, the chest fly. Another good chest workout. And with me, I have to be careful with my body. I don't lift weights a lot because I bulk up very easily. I'm one of those type of guys that everybody in the gym hates because <laughs> we bulk up so fast. I guess you can just say, I don't, I don't know. Let me say I'm, I'm blessed genetically, whatever the case may be. Um... Yeah, I try to keep everything to high reps if possible and lower weight. Right here, I'm working out my back. I love the row. Uh, right here, I'm doing the seated cable row without no seat. Uh, I like doing this without a seat because I engage my core a lot more, but I don't have that seat uh, under me. I have to really brace my core to keep everything nice and in line. And right here, I'm doing pull-ups. I, I feel like this is a must for fighters. It's a... Uh, such a good workout to increase your upper body strength. I think I did about 40 of them right here. I'm just playing with y'all. I, I didn't do 40. I'm not that strong yet. <laughs> I will be one day. Right here, I moved on to the leg press. I'm getting into my lower body uh, exercises now. One thing I do love about training my lower body, it always increases my time on my long runs. It really increases my the stamina in my legs, my endurance. I always really appreciate a good hard leg day, but when you're in more Thai, every day is leg day. <laughs> and right here we're going to the uh, the one-legged squat or lunge, or some people call it the Bulgarian split squat. Goes by a lot of different names, apparently. I believe I might have did it about eight or ten on each leg, and most of the time I I probably do about. Anywhere from two to four sets, but it kind of depends on how many exercises I'm doing as well. So you just kind of uh, you kind of have to gauge that and take that into account. But I love this exercise because once again, I have to really engage my core to learn how to stay on balance and to keep my coordination. Anything I can do to help with my balance coordination, I'm always down for it. And right here, we got the sled push going on. And surprisingly to me, when I first did this, um, I was surprised at how much of a leg burner it was. I guess it really depends on how much weight you put on there as well. 
but it, it really helps me out on my my drive forward and getting out the uh, the explosive energy it would definitely come in handy especially against the higher level wrestlers that we have at our gym i love rotational movement i do all that i can to uh, have rotational movement in all of my exercise routines uh that's pretty much the way the, the human body generates uh, the greatest amount of power I feel like through rotational movement, especially in fighting and martial arts, we do a, have a lot of rotational movement of our kicks, of our punches. So it's always good to really work on it. And exercise like this can actually help you increase your puncher power and give you a better understanding of rotational movement. And right here, I'm pretty much at the end of my workout routine for the day. I'm just doing some light stretching right here. And when it comes to stretching, you know, always stretch yourself before you wreck yourself. Just remember that. When you get done with your workout routine, your muscles, they're, they're warm. They work with you a lot easier than you just stretching cold. So this is a very simple stretch right here. I've been doing a lot of stretching for flexibility here lately because I'm just now coming back into everything. So I'm trying to gain my flexibility back. So right now, as you can tell, especially for you people out there, you can do the full split and all that. Like, oh, my God, he got a long way to go. Yeah, so what? I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> but as I take my deep breaths, I'm just trying to go deeper into the stretch. Nice and easy and let up nice and easy. And I didn't want to bore you all with like a 15, 30 minute stretching, you know, session. So. I just kept it very simple right here. I'm doing pretty much the exact same stretch. And when it comes to flexibility, the first thing that tightens up are your hamstrings. I don't know what it is about that. I guess because you, we change the way we do things nowadays. We're always sitting down at the desk. So, you know, your, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your hip flexors, all that end up getting very tight on you. So, I guess I just come from working behind desk eight hours a day and all that good stuff. But I do love ending everything with a nice stretch of just bringing my heart rate back down and meditating and visualizing everything I just did and what I'm going to do in the future. And I'm letting out of my stretch now. And we also have a device called a ray gun in our gym. Look, I love this piece of equipment. It has actually helped me a lot with my flexibility because it's gotten a lot of knots out. There was, you know how your muscles get knotted up working out all the time or kind of being idle i mean i absolutely love that gun it's heavy with my recovery a lot so i'm always using on my hip flexors my my growing my hamstring my glutes i need to find somebody to pay that can just hold this thing for me and just hit my whole entire body because i absolutely love it i use it after all of my workout routines and it speeds me up in my recovery I tell you what, I really appreciate Ray Gun. Just kind of going over my IT band and other parts of my leg right here. If you don't have one, I suggest you definitely invest in one because it's worth it. And there you have it. There's a number of exercises that I like to do in my routine just to help me stay fit, help me stay in shape, help me prepare for fights. I have a lot of other things that I do as well. There's only a very small portion of it. If you like this video, comment below let me know what you think if you have a request for the future leave in the comment section i'll do my best to get back to you or make a video about it um other than that y'all keep rocking with me i really appreciate all the love and positivity y'all been sending my way about the videos you're liking it you're loving it i'm getting better as i go along and i appreciate you all just for your love and your support on everything i'm gonna be bringing you a wider variety of videos in the future i look forward to it so Let's keep walking this journey together. Let me build you up. Remember, God loves you. Until next time, y'all take it easy.